Hey everyone, come on in. Wanted to share this uh, video right quickly uh, and, and I'll get started. I'm uh, sitting here waiting uh, for an appointment and I wanted to just share this. It dawned on me uh, that um, the thought came to mind that you're becoming. Um, there's a difference between your state of being and your state of becoming. Um, and I don't ever want you not to uh, work on becoming because of where you are and your state of being in life right now. Um, very oftentimes, uh, because it doesn't feel right, it doesn't sound right, um, that it doesn't look right, that we won't go forward and become. And I, I won't be long, but I want to share uh, just a couple of few nuggets with you. Uh, the enemy, the devil, uh, the enemy in whatever form he comes in, he is very uh, systematic in the fact that he uses three major weapons. And those three major weapons that the enemy uses uh, is the weapon of distraction, the weapon of deception, and the weapon of division. And when the devil uses those weapons of distraction, deception, and division, they ultimately cause destruction if we let them have that work in our lives. And so I'm strongly encouraging you to know that you are becoming, that where you are or the place where you find yourself today, your current state of being uh, cannot stop your process of becoming. Uh, no matter the distraction, uh, no matter the deception, that the enemy may bring uh, and no matter the division that people who you thought would be with you are being scattered in your thoughts or your ideas or your your vision versus your work ethic there has to be some sense of uh, synergy and alignment and agreement and so you are becoming there are two things though I want to share with you that you have to resist as you are becoming one you have to resist the temptation to remain you have to resist the temptation to remain sometimes we get so comfortable where we are even if it's not the best place for us at least we know the problems that we're gonna have in this place we know how much it costs to stay in this place we know what this place uh, is going to get what the the, the, the uh, figurative place where we are so resist the temptation to remain you can't become and remain at the same time. Let me say that again. You can't become and remain at the same time. So you have to resist the temptation to remain. And then as you are becoming, the second thing, you have to resist the temptation to return. Wherever God is taking you as an individual, as a believer, as a biz, as an entrepreneur, as uh, as an employee, as an employer in school, uh, for degrees, for training programs, writing manuals, books, songs, acting, getting money, changing generations, whatever it is, whatever you're becoming, you have to resist the temptation to remain, and you have to resist the temptation to return. You're becoming, and I'm excited about who you are, but I'm even more excited about where God is taking you. Until the next time, be blessed.